E.D. Amin's rule in Uganda 1971-1979 is marked by numerous controversies, including purges, disappearances, and high-profile assassinations. Among the many tragic stories surrounding Amin's reign, the death of his brother-in-law, Lt. Colonel Michael Ondoga, stands out. Lt. Colonel Ondoga, formerly Uganda's foreign minister and ambassador to the Soviet Union, held a critical position in Amin's government until he suddenly fell out of favor. Michael Ondoga was married to Amin's sister, Kai Adra Amin, linking him closely to the president. However, despite this familial bond, Ondoga's loyalty and effectiveness as a minister were called into question by Amin himself. Tensions became publicly evident during a cabinet meeting on February 12th. Elfu Moja na Mia Tisa Sabini na Nne, attended by a French film crew that Amin had invited to document the proceedings. The president, frustrated by what he perceived as negligence and inefficiency among his ministers, harshly criticized his cabinet members, sparing no one in his pointed remarks. Ondoga, in particular, received the brunt of Amin's reprimands as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was experiencing significant challenges and alleged disorganization. During this meeting, Amin publicly chastised Ondoga, making it clear that he held him responsible for the state of affairs in the foreign ministry. In front of his colleagues and the film crew, Ondoga sat uncomfortably, as Amin openly challenged his capabilities and hinted at potential consequences if improvements were not made. This confrontation served as a warning, signaling Amin's dissatisfaction with Ondoga's performance. The tension reached a climax when, on February 19th, Elfu Moja na Mia Tisa Sabini na Nne, Amin abruptly announced Ondoga's removal from his role as foreign minister. In a surprising move, he replaced Ondoga with Princess Elizabeth Bagaya of Toro, a decision widely publicized the following day in Uganda's government-run newspaper, The Voice of Uganda. Bagaya's appointment was historic as she became Uganda's first female foreign minister. The Voice of Uganda quoted Amin as stating that he had appointed Bagaya based on a recommendation from the Defense Council hinting that Ondoga's dismissal was influenced by military advice and possibly linked to suspicions of disloyalty or incompetence. At the time, Amin presented Ondoga's dismissal as a mere transfer, suggesting he would be assigned other duties. However, it quickly became apparent that there was more to the story. Following his removal, Ondoga's life took a dark turn, and within days, he disappeared from the public eye. Rumors circulated that he had been detained, and these suspicions were soon confirmed when his death was reported, sparking widespread fear and speculation across the country. Many believed that Amin had ordered Ondoga's execution, motivated by a blend of personal betrayal and political insecurity. Amin's brutal and unpredictable approach to governance meant that even close family members were not immune from his wrath. The circumstances of Ondoga's death reflect the dangerous and volatile nature of Amin's rule. Amin often eliminated perceived threats within his inner circle without hesitation, using public humiliation, reassignment, and eventually, execution as tools to maintain control. His decision to have a French film crew present during the cabinet meeting may have been an attempt to demonstrate his resolve and authority to an international audience, reinforcing his image as a strict, unyielding leader. This display of power, however, likely served as a grim warning to Ondoga and other cabinet members of the potential consequences of falling out of favor. The brutal killing of Ondoga sent shockwaves through Amin's government and the nation. It illustrated how Amin's methods for dealing with dissent or incompetence extended beyond mere dismissal or exile, they included violent and often fatal consequences. The public nature of Ondoga's dismissal, followed by his sudden death, spread fear among Amin's ministers and reinforced the impression that loyalty to the president offered no guarantees of safety. Amin's wife, Kai Adra Amin, was deeply affected by her brother's death, yet her reaction could do little to change the course of events. Amin's close family ties were ultimately insufficient to protect Ondoga, as Amin viewed any failure or criticism as a threat to his authority. The death of Ondoga also served to further isolate Amin from potential allies within his administration. As trust deteriorated and paranoia spread among those who worked with him, Princess Elizabeth Bagaya's appointment as the new foreign minister, following Ondoga's demise, marked a significant shift in Uganda's political landscape. Bagaya was a celebrated Ugandan royal and a well-educated diplomat with international connections. 
Her selection may have been intended to project an image of progress and modernity for Uganda, as well as to reassure both local and foreign audiences of Amin's willingness to promote capable and respected figures within his administration. Nevertheless, Bagaya's appointment could not conceal the underlying tensions and violent dynamics that characterized Amin's rule. Ondoga's story stands as a powerful example of the dangerous volatility of Amin's government, where proximity to the president was both a privilege and a peril. The tragic outcome of Amin's brother-in-law's dismissal and death underscores the extreme measures Amin took to enforce loyalty, discipline, and control over his cabinet. His actions served as a stern warning to others in government that even personal connections to the president could not guarantee protection. As Amin's rule progressed, stories similar to Ondoga's emerged, revealing the extent of the fear that permeated Ugandan society and the government. Be removing and eliminating even those closest to him, Amin maintained a regime rooted in fear. Silencing dissent and quashing any signs of disloyalty. The killing of LT Colonel Michael Ondoga is remembered as one of the many tragic incidents that marked Amin's dictatorship, symbolizing the dangers faced by those who dared or were merely perceived to fail or oppose him.